Oh, yes, Wait, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, Lewis. How you doing? Yeah, it's got on, mate. Thank you. Finally, a GB champion. Oh, mate, it's been a long time coming, you know. <laughs> last couple of years, been a frustrating couple of years in the GBs, but, you know, third time lucky. And, um, no, nah, I'm, just, I'm just happy over the moon tonight. Who, who did you box with the first time? Box John Doherty. The okay, first time. yeah, um, good. Flying, flying as a pro yeah, now. Yeah, doing well as a pro down there, Tony Sims' gym. And then, boxed, obviously, Jordan Reynolds last year. We're both, both close fights, and then got the win tonight finally so GB debut as well so it's a big night for me oh, well done Coming well done a, a, a year injury didn't bo and boxing since last December you know so it's a whole year injury and coming back first fight un under the big lights on BBC and that you know so grateful and blessed to get the win how did you feel do you know what that first round yeah, yeah. I felt unbelievable I've been, I've been a bit nervous leading up to the fight and that um and then the first round I felt good, I felt felt smooth and then the second and third I, I still felt um second round I felt good and you know, I thought I won the second round and then the third round was a little bit close but you know, um I felt like I'm not done more than enough to to win the fight definitely. So what do you think of him as an opponent? You think he's good? Who, Rampton? Rampton? Um yeah. yeah, Rampton's a good kid. Um we had G V trials last year at the same time. I got on, he didn't. Um He's a younger kid than me, so he's, he's still got time to learn and that. But uh, now I've got respect for Rampton. He's a good kid, and he gave me a good fight tonight. Okay, well done on that. I remember the first time I saw you box. You boxed a really good kid. Uh, I think it was uh, 2006 or 17 against Kevin Fowers. <laughs> the, the knockout <laughs> artist. <laughs> I thought he was about to blow you away you as know, well. I looked like a tall, skinny kid, didn't I? You know, yeah. fucking hell, don't worry, I can fight still. <laughs> I don't know, I've been seeing videos of him, he'd, um, he'd, won, he'd, he'd gone through the London rounds, knocking everyone out, and yeah. he had about four fights, four KOs, yeah. and then I met, him in, I met him in the quarters of the ABAs and um, beat him, and that was a good fight, a good tough fight that yeah. was, no, no easy fight with, that, with Fowers. Put your name in the, in the map exactly, of that sort of yeah, win. Yeah. So what's next for you now, now you were shaked up the cobwebs, because there's another guy who's just... Um, Coming off an injury as well, your last opponent, yeah, jo Jordan Reynolds. Jordan, Jordan get on well now, you know. Yeah. He's, he's a good lad. Um, but you know, it, it's a it's a weird one because we're teammates, but at the same time we're fighting for that same spot for Tokyo. 75 is wide open at the moment, and we've had a couple of the podium boys move up weight and go pro, so 75 is wide open. Um, and now it's just for me. Um, just had some good news the last couple of days. I got on full time because I've been part time the whole year, and um, because obviously I haven't been able to prove myself. Um, and I got told um, that I'm now full time, so that's good news for me. Um, so now it's just about progressing. You know, next year's a big year, Olympic qualification year. Um, so are you going to be in it as well? Do you know what? There's no real 75 who who who's not in contention for it. You know, it's it's wide open. Some of the other weights is sort of you know who's going to go to the qualifiers, but at the moment there's no real number one. So yeah. it's about early next year trying to Im impress the coaches, impress the tournaments, get come back with gold medals and that, and then. And then see see where we go from that. You know, for me, from my personal self, I just it's about development now. Um, I'm still fairly young, 21 now, so it's about just just improving and, and learning and getting better with this world class facilities. Yeah. You know, there's four main names now. Yeah, so there's, yeah. there's you, there's um, um, Carfell, yeah. Jordan Reynolds, and then um, Mac Dixon. Mark Dixon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It must be tasty spars oh, between all you know. It's always competitive. It's always good spars. Um, that's what it's about, you know. We're, we're bringing each other on all the time. We're learning about different tricks of the trade, and we all have different styles, and it, and it brings the best out of us, you know. Quality sparring in here. Some of these fight, some of these spars we have are better than are better than competitors we're we're against. So, no, it's brilliant. Lewis, can you remember the um, why you started boxing and at what age? I started. So I started at 12. We used to play football. We used to enjoy playing football. Just saying that Jordan, Pitt, Jordan Pitford's behind us. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I started playing football um, yeah. when I was uh, when I was younger and now um, mm. and I just got into boxing just for a bit of fitness for football. Mm -hmm. and, um, and you left-footed as well? Yeah, left-footed, left-footed, mm. left-handed. And then um, I took, went down with my brother. My brother's been a big, big influence in my boxing career. And I just, yeah, just won my first few fights, won a national title and I was like, I might be alright at this. And just carried on from there really. Okay, and where are you from? What part of England? From Colchester in Essex. Okay. So it's a relatively yes. unknown sort of area for boxing. Um, yeah. We've had a good fighter in Lee Purdy come out of come out of Essex, come out yeah. of Colchester. Oh, but yeah. apart from that, not he really came through the um, semi-pro yeah, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. So he had, yeah. he had six amateurs, six semi-pro, yeah. and then um, went and had a good career as a yeah. pro. Really overachieved, but yeah. it's just through hard work, you know. 
but um, I was the first ever person to get on ZB from Colchester, so it's, it's oh, a big achievement. Congrats, yeah. congrats for that. I'm sure you, there'll be, when you do decide to turn pro in a few years from now, uh, you have a Colchester lot for yeah, you, yeah, the Essex yeah. lot. That'll be, that'll be, that'll be fun to watch. Definitely. But before I go, is there anything else you want to... Nothing you know? really, just, just a massive shout out to, it's been a tough year mentally and physically, you know, mm -hmm. um, people forget about the mental side of boxing, but coming back from an injury, you know, as, as well as physically, it's tough, so I've got a, a good good team around, good family, good friends, and my sponsors, um, they're all looking after me, you know, so I appreciate the support from everyone, the GB, GB setup, it's, it's just amazing, so just a good team around me, and it's, it's not an individual sport like that, you know, you've got a big team to support you, and I appreciate that. Okay, well, all the best, like I tell the other 75 kg guys, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I've started to know each one of you, so I'm not going to say, yeah, I wish you make it. <laughs> Maybe that would be all unfair. So, oh, so all the best, but yeah. the best man win. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I'd be interested. I'll, I'm just going to grab my popcorn and see <laughs> who <laughs> makes it. <laughs> yeah, watch you fire out. It's easy. Exactly. It's easy from where my point of view. <laughs> You've got the hard work to do. Yeah, but awesome. uh, congrats on your winning, and I'm happy to hear you injury free now yeah. and onwards and upwards. Yeah, thank you. Lewis, thanks for your time. Nice one. Thanks for your time.